Well, good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to my 2,567th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. I was planning on getting in front of you, in front of a camera, and showing you a bunch of great charts in person. But, you know, I've been a bit under the weather. My ears are still clogged from a little head cold I've had. I just don't feel like getting out in front of that camera. But the information in this video, I promise you, will be just as good and, and useful. Remember that trading is risky no matter what you trade. Futures, stocks, ETFs, crypto, if you trade it, it is risky. Please do not trade without putting your stops in and always put them in first. So, this video coming at you on a Monday night for trading Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. It's day one of a two-day Fed meeting. And what does that mean? Isn't it interesting that we rally up, 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 right before a two-day Fed meeting, we get to a double top. Interesting, right? And we know that when we see a double top, we sell a double top. And we are going to take the short trade if we can get filled because that double top looks like it set itself in at the close on Monday by not settling above the top, right? It didn't settle above the top. It settled under it. it means it tested it, failed. Double tops, they're not always accountable. But if you sold 10 double tops, I'll bet you eight of them will give you money. So when we see a double top, we sell a double top. What else is going on? It's not just NASDAQ. Look at this. If you didn't use the NASDAQ and you used another chart, you can look at this chart and say, well, 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 look at all the traffic that takes place on the Dow Jones Industrial Average in this area. Look, you get up there just about on that green bar, but then you get there. So that green bar hits about where the red bar hits, right? So I could actually have another arrow right here if I wanted to, to show you that a lot of traffic in here. You get in this area, you run into trouble. It comes back down. You get into this area, you ran into trouble. Look down here, trouble. 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 Gets almost to the top line. Trouble. Bam. Doesn't make it. And what do we do the day before a two-day Fed meeting? We hit it, turn around, reverse, and put a swing day in. So we are going to take the short based on that signal. And we'll see what's going to happen. But it is the first day of a two-day Fed meeting, so we will be very nimble if we do end up trading. But you see my point, right? There's a lot of traffic in here. The Fed's about to make a decision. We had a nice fat rally before they go to raise rates. You saw what the NASDAQ looked like on the double top. It all makes sense. So we would go for a short trade, at least for the earlier part of the session tonight into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning on the Dow Jones, but we'll try to get filled in the NASDAQ. If you like what you see in these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that right now by clicking the subscribe button below. Make sure you like and share these videos. We can use a fan base. And then remember for yourselves, if you're in a trade, put that stop in and then do not make emotional decisions. Say this to yourself instead over and over. I promise it will help you. Are you with me traders? One, two, three. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you all in my live trading room. It is free. No credit cards are required. Come join me at livewithoscar.com.